You're supposed to say, great, great, great. OK. Um, welcome, everyone, to the second annual State of the Lehigh Valley event. Um, we are very thankful for you uh, to come to join us today. And we're really looking forward to having all the wonderful folks speak and talk to you about um, this report, which goes and shows us lots of hard data uh, about what is going on in the community. And so I have the honor of saying just a few words. And then most importantly, I get the great job of thanking people. So that's who, who can be, who could not love that. So uh, my name is Dina Zoski. I'm the co-chair of Renew Lehigh Valley. And uh, we are one of the sponsors of this event. And um, my other co-chair, Mr. Dobb, I don't know, Andy, are you here? Um, I'm co-chair with Andy Dobb from Renew Lehigh Valley. And Renew is an organization that um, really was founded on the premise of working together in the region on smart growth and smart governance. And the underpinning of that being that we are working together collaboratively, regardless of where we stand on issues and what kind of opinions we have. And so our organization is made up of a board of directors, again, nonpartisan, and a very large leadership council, which has private business, uh, public partners, not-for-profit organizations, really a cross-stakeholder um, view of the community. And so we're very proud to uh, host this event today, and we'll get to the thanking in a couple of minutes. What I wanted to reflect on was, I thought, well, what should I be talking about? What is, what do I think about the state of the Lehigh Valley as it relates to Renew's mission? And I had a couple of things I wanted to say, and then Pam Colton, who I'll introduce you to in a second, who's our new executive director, I don't know if you saw in the paper today, she did a nice op-ed on some of the findings, and she used sports analogy, which I love as an athlete, to talk about getting people engaged in the community and getting in the game. Get off the bench, get in the game, um, which I loved. And so I thought, all right, well, if you're here today, you're in the game. So we don't have to talk about whether you're coming off the bench because you're already in the game. But what I wanted to talk a little bit about is the most important part of that sports analogy for me is let's talk about good sportsmanship. Um, and what does that mean? And what does it mean for regional collaboration and how we work together to solve problems? And as you'll see today with the statistics, we've got a lot of issues that we have to address. And we have no question that we can together. Um, and so as I reflected on that, it feels to me like there's a lot of rancor today nationally and sometimes even locally, a lot of really polarizing discussions um, seem to be happening. And that doesn't solve issues. Um, and so there's a lot of work to do. And we have to get past that. And now don't get me wrong, I'm all for passionate debate. I think it's great. Um, I, myself, have even been known to jump in the ring and scrap it up occasionally if I feel strongly about something. But I always want to remember to be respectful when I do that. Um, and so as I thought through what's the state of the Lehigh Valley, I feel a little bit scared that we're moving to the point where we're not remembering that. The valley has a really rich history in collaborating together, regardless of where we come from and what we think, around issues, shoulder to shoulder, and getting the work done. And so I'll leave you with just that one thought. I'd like you to consider how we actually buck the national trend, in my opinion, and move towards working together in the Lehigh Valley, regardless of what our opinions are, around the data, shoulder to shoulder, getting the work done, because there's lots of it. Um, so I'll leave you with one simple but profound word from the East um, as a token of my appreciation for everything that you do. Um, it is namaste. It means the divine in me honors the divine in you. Thank you for everything you do in our community to make it a wonderful place. And I hope you enjoy uh, all the uh, stuff that you'll see today. And now I get to thank everybody. Uh, so we have this year a whole bunch of sponsors. And, and first off, that's so great. And so thank you, everybody, um, for being willing to host this event and sponsor that event in some way. So we have presenting sponsors. We have Highmark Blue Shield, which is a presenting sponsor. Thank you so much for, for doing that. 
we have Lehigh Valley Economic Development Corporation. Those two sponsors are at the presenting sponsor level, so thank you so much. And we'll hear a few words just shortly uh, from those folks. We have three partner sponsors, Capital Blue Cross, PP&L, and Air Products. So uh, thank you to everyone from those organizations for your sponsorship. We have three contributor level sponsors, Susquehanna Bank, Lehigh University, and the Social Science Research Center. Thank you so much. And we have three community sponsors, Just Born, Spillman Farmer Architects, and United Way of the Lehigh Valley. Thank you again for sponsoring this event. We really appreciate your support. Um, I have a list of elected officials and their representatives to uh, acknowledge if we've missed anybody. Pam, you can just give me a shout. I, I think I've got everybody on the list, or please just raise your hand and we'll acknowledge you. Um, I thought I could find her. Oh, there she is. Okay, so I, I told her I would embarrass her, but I'm going to. The beautiful and brilliant Miss Marta Gabriel from U.S. Senator Pat Toomey's office. Thank you. <laughs> the beautiful and brilliant Carol Abondo Durstein from U.S. Senator Bob Casey's office. Is she here? Okay. The beautiful and brilliant Ms. Carol Harper from U.S. Uh, Representative Charlie Dent's office. Thank you, Carol. The beautiful and brilliant Ms. Ellen Kern from Pennsylvania Senator Pat Brown's office has the greatest shoes as well, if you haven't noticed. Uh, the beautiful and brilliant Mary Jane Falcone from Pennsylvania Representative Joe Brennan, Joseph Brennan's office. Is she here today? Thank you. <clears throat> we have Mr. Frank Kane from Lehigh County. Uh, is he here today, who's also a board member of Renew? Nope. Sorry. <laughs> Rob Warner from um, Northampton County Council, is he here today? Um, and then we also, I would also really like to thank um, Pam Colton and Rachel Bradshaw from Renew Le Lehigh Valley. They did a tremendous amount of work uh, to get this event going to do all the logistics, and, and I just want to say as co-chair, I'm deeply thankful for all the work that you do. I would like to bring Pam up. Um, so thank you both, ladies. Could we give them both a round of applause because they did an excellent job. I don't want to get close to the mic. This is Pam Colton. For those of you who don't, I uh, haven't had the pleasure to meet her, this is our new executive director. We're blessed to have her. She's excellent. And if you haven't had an opportunity to introduce yourself to her, would you please try and do that today? She's really a, an asset to the organization. We're happy to have you here. So I'm going to hand it over to Pam, and she'll take it from there. Thanks. Thank you very much, Dina. Mm -hmm. I don't know which one works better. Is this one better? Is it, can you hear this? Yeah? OK. I'm told that the makes it easier for the video if I try to stand still. But I, I like to wander, so um, I, I may wander. But right now, we, I just want to get right into introducing our next speaker, Winnie Malinsky from uh, Highmark Blue Shield. She's the Regional Director of Client Management. We'd like to have Winnie come say a few words, and thank you so much for sponsoring us this year. Thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure to be here for year two, and um, it's funny, a lot of the phrases that I had in my short little few minutes were already expressed. So I think everybody's definitely on the same page here, which is awesome. Um, it's exciting for all of us to be here with even more enthusiasm than last year, or you wouldn't be back. Um, I'm so impressed when we get a group of leaders of our community together. Um, everybody has busy lives, but this seems to be at the forefront of um, everybody's view. So we're really happy to see the uh, attendance today. Uh, you know, I, last year I talked about the people and how the people make the valley um, a wonderful place to live and work. But I think we've seen over this year and, and looking into the future that collaboration of all of those wonderful people is really going to be the strength of bringing our Lehigh Valley to an even greater spot um, in our state and in the country. And um, we have commemoration of our city's 250th this year, the city of Allentown and the county's 200th, and all of those initiatives have also brought people together. So I think if we continue the enthusiasm and we continue the spirit of everyone in this room, that we will continue to make the Lehigh Valley um, the best place to live and work. So thank you for the opportunity, and I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you for partnering with us again and again. It's people like you and Highmark who, who make things like this possible. Um, next, I'd like to ask Holly Edinger, Director, um, Lehigh Valley Land Recycling Initiative, representing the Lehigh Valley Economic Development Corporation, who is also one of our uh, presenting sponsors today. Oh, there's Holly. <laughs> for a minute, I didn't think <laughs> I was going to find you. Thanks, Pam. We're very pleased to be sponsoring this event for the second, well, the second year the event is. Um, and I don't know if you were here last year. I know I have some familiar faces and you were, but for those of you who weren't, this is a great program and I think you're gonna find it very, very interesting and there's some um, great information that's always presented. So, um, you know, the Lehigh Valley Economic Development Corporation is constantly evaluating the state of the Lehigh Valley. Um, almost daily, someone from our office talks about the strengths of this region to a business prospect looking to relocate or expand here in the valley. So we're always talking about our strengths. Um, we're now, not only are we knowing our strengths in Lehigh Valley, but LVDC and our partners are also looking now to, to talk about how we protect those strengths in the long term. You may have heard about a recent grant we received for the Lehigh Valley through HUD, the Department of Housing and Urban Development's Sustainable Communities Regional Planning Grant. Um, with 10 partners, 11 uh, regional organizations here in the Lehigh Valley, we were successful in getting this grant, one of only 29 in the nation. These partners include Renew Lehigh Valley, um, the Lehigh Valley Planning Commission, who is here today, um, as well as Northampton County, Lehigh County, Community Action Committee of the Lehigh Valley, Lanta, the Wildlands Conservancy, and of course our partners in each of the three cities, Allentown, Bethlehem, and Easton. It was, it was that regional collaboration that made the grant successful. One of the big things uh, that we're gonna be doing with this grant is a public engagement process over the next three years called Envision Lehigh Valley. Envision Lehigh Valley would give all the residents an opportunity to weigh in on long-term priorities and goals for the Lehigh Valley. Envision Lehigh Valley will really kick off this summer with a marketing campaign that we hope will really get everyone engaged and excited about this conversation. Um, Renew is gonna be a big partner in this, so I wanna make sure you all get on their mailing lists so we can keep you informed of this process and when the public meetings are and, and how to get engaged and how to get your community and your neighborhood um, engaged in, in the public vision and the long-term planning for the Lehigh Valley. Um, I think that you know the state of the Lehigh Valley, this event is a great place to start our community conversations. One of the reasons it was important for us to sponsor and be a part of the event today, because knowing where we are today, we can really start talking about where we're going as a, as a region. So um, the state of the Lehigh Valley in 2020 is really a matter of choice or chance. And so I ask you all to choose and get involved with the process that we're gonna be rolling out over the next few years. So thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Holly. Now I'm going to call Jim Brennan from the Lehigh Valley Association of Independent Colleges. Oh, there he is. Thank you, Pam. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, my name is Jim Brennan and I'm the Interim Executive Director of Elvaic, which is the, the college consortium of the Lehigh Valley that covers the six colleges. It stands for the Lehigh Valley Association of Independent Colleges. And what we do is try to facilitate cooperation and collaboration across our institutions. Uh, so it, and at a whole wide range of activities from academics to, to operational to fiscal. So we might, be, we might have a shared language program that, that students from different campuses can cross register for, or we might be in, also involved in trying to secured uh, fuel, buy fuel, or to, or to get better health care uh, benefits costs. And, and so that's what we try to do is lead with the question, how can we do something better together? And how can we do it maybe by reducing the cost, but also how can we learn from each other? And I, I've seen a lot of that going on in the past six or seven weeks since I've been on board. And I think one of the finest examples of how we can do something better 
and, and the spirit of collaboration and cooperation is the LBRC, the, the Lehigh Valley Research Consortium. And I'd like to bring up the, the, the director now, but I just want to give her a, a little introduction. Uh, this is, we're I'm talking about Dr. Michelle moser Deegan, and she's been the driving force, uh, co-founder and director for the last four years. And I think that, that what, what, they're, what they're doing with the LBRC and the research that, that crosses all of these different, uh, I, I think they're kind of invisible lines, but th these different realms of environmental, educational, uh, politics, and, and, and uh, other, other areas that to, to try to figure out how the Lehigh Valley can recognize itself as an interdependent region. And I like the fact that it starts with the premise that the Lehigh Valley is, in fact, an interdependent region, that causality works across all of these different boundaries. And, and I think the, the other thing is, is that uh, we, we, um, we can't really make the optimal decisions. In whatever area we might be working in, it's difficult to make the optimal decisions without a very clear picture of what's going on around us. And when I, when I see this report, uh, which I've read thoroughly, uh, I, this is a very clear picture of what's going on around us. So I'll have Michelle come up and tell you a little bit more about that, but let me just say a little bit about Michelle. Michelle is an associate professor of political science at Muhlenberg College, and she received her doctorate, her, her PhD, at a prestigious school, the, the Robert F. Wagner School of Public Service at NYU, and she teaches courses in government, American government, and American national politics. Uh, I, Michelle also, I think her, her, her field of expertise, she would tell you, is educational policy, but I think that her interests range throughout all, all of national, or not national, but, but state and local government policy making. So I, I give Michelle Deegan to you, Michelle, and you can tell us more about the LBRC. Thank you. 